This book is called The True Story of the Three Little Pigs by A. Wolf, written by John Siska and illustrated by Lane Smith. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me out. Now, I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong, all right? Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault. Wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies, and sheep, and pigs. That's just the way we are. <laughs> if cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad too, am I right? But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Now, way back in once upon a time time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold. I ran out of sugar. So I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now, this neighbor was a pig. And uh, he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, I mean, who in his right mind would build a house of straw? So, of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. Uh, I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house, so I called Lil Pig. Lil Pig, are you in? No answer. Hmm. I was just about to go home without a cup of sugar from my dear old granny's birthday cake. And that's when my nose started to itch. I felt the, 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 the sneeze coming on. Well, I, I huffed and I, I snuffed. And I sneezed a great sneeze. A chew! Oh. Whew. And uh, you know what? That whole darn straw house fell down. And uh, right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig. Dead as a doornail. He had been home the whole time. Now, it seemed like a shame to just leave a perfectly good ham dinner in there on the straw. So I ate it up. <sighs> Think of it as a... Uh, it's like a big cheeseburger lying in there. I was feeling a little better, but uh, I still didn't have my cup of sugar. So I went to the next neighbor's house, and this neighbor was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smarter, but not so much. He had built his house of sticks. <sighs> I rang the bell on the stick house and nobody answered. So I called, Mr. Pig. Oh, Mr. Pig, you in? And he yelled back, Go away, Wolf, you can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs off my chinny chin chin. I just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed. I snuffed. And I, uh, I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed a great sneeze. a chew! Whew! And uh, you're not gonna believe it, but uh, this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. And when all the dust cleared, there was the second little pig. Dead as a door now. Wolf saw him. Now, you know food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open, right? So, uh... I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. Forget about it. Think of it as a second helping. I was getting awfully full, but my cold was feeling a little better, and I still didn't have that cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family, you know what I'm saying? He had built his house of bricks. Hey. 
So I knocked on the brick house, no answer. And I called, Mr. Peg, Mr. Peg. Are you in? And you know what that rude little porker said to me? He said, Get out of here, wolf. Don't bother me again. Talk about impolite. He probably had a whole sack full of sugar. And he wouldn't even give me one little cup for my dear, sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig! I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of the cake when I felt my cold coming on. So I, I huffed, I snuffed, and I sneezed once again. Achoo! Whew. And then a third little big yell. And your old granny can sit on a pin! Oh, no. I'm usually a pretty calm fella, but uh, when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little crazy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, when the cops drove up, of course I was trying to break down the pig's door. And the whole time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene, you know? The rest, as they say, is history. Well, the news reporters found out about the two pigs I had for dinner. They figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all that huff and puff and blow your house down malarkey. And they made me the big bad wolf. That's it. The real story. I was framed. But, uh, maybe you can, uh, hold me a cup of sugar, huh? Excuse me.